The Asus X415 laptop is a stylish 14-inch machine that's visually appealing and a great choice if you're looking for a compact and robust entry-level laptop. My goal for today is to show you what you can expect when you buy one of these laptops, including what you'll find in the box, a visual tour of the laptop's specs and features, setting up windows for the first time and running a benchmark at the end, so you'll know if the laptop is actually any good. Alright, so let's start by opening up the box. Inside the box we have an Asus laptop charger, the Asus X415 laptop, some warranty info, a user manual and a My Asus card. This is typically what you can expect when you buy a new laptop today. The laptop has a very nice and compact modern design with an Asus AC adapter charging port, a USB Type-C port, an HDMI 1.4 port which supports 4K at 30fps and a USB 3.2 port on the left of the laptop. To the right, it has a laptop lock slot, two USB 2 ports, a combined headphone and mic jack, and the power and battery status lights. I see most X415 models have a micro SD card reader next to the audio jack, but the model I'm unboxing here doesn't. Opening the lid of the laptop, we can see the 14 inch anti glare display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 that's powered by Intel's Ultra HD Graphics 920 and a VGA webcam with microphone that's integrated to the top of the screen housing. It features the Asus Chiclet keyboard without a numeric keypad as well as a standard touchpad and here is a quick listen to both of them. The Asus X415 I'm unboxing today is powered by an Intel Core i3 10th gen Comet Lake CPU that consists of two cores and four threads with a boost of up to 3.4 GHz. This laptop comes with a 256GB M.2 SSD drive and 8GB of RAM. The RAM consists of two 4GB modules running at 3200 MHz and only one slot is upgradable as the other is integrated onto the motherboard. Moving on to the network connectivity options, it has no Ethernet port but it does feature a Wi-Fi 5 dual band adapter with Bluetooth 4.1 combined into the same chip. Underneath the laptop there are two speakers which are powered by sonic wave and they produce some pretty good sound. It has a 2 cell 37 watt per hour lithium ion battery and the expected battery life is a little more than 2 hours but real-world battery life will always depend on the tasks the laptop is being used for. With that being said, the laptop's most important specs and features have been covered, and anything I didn't mention in the video can be found in the description below. After plugging the charger in and powering on the laptop, I was greeted with the Asus logo. Once the startup was finished and I was on the initial Windows 11 setup screen, it was time to start by choosing the region, language, and keyboard layout. After that, it was time to connect it to the internet so I can start with account creation. I never set up a new laptop with a Microsoft account and I normally bypass it by connecting the laptop to the internet and then I remove the ethernet cable after clicking on next. This laptop doesn't have an ethernet port but I'll be using this USB Type-C to ethernet adapter for this task. If you don't have any of these, just connect to your Wi-Fi network and after you press next on the Windows 11 setup screen, Switch off the router until you are finished with the setup. So I'll create a local account by entering a username and I'll leave the password blank. Next, I'll turn off all the privacy switches and I'm skipping the registration here. Now that we've made it into Windows, let's jump in and do some basic tests and benchmarks. For today's testing, I'll be using different programs such as Hardware Info, Cinebench, Performance Tests, Passmark and PCMark 10. With Hardware Info, we can double check if the specs are exactly what we paid for and we can see other things the laptop sensors are monitoring, one major being the temperatures. Next, let's have a look at how the laptop performs with three different benchmarks. Keep in mind that these scores are out of box scores and nothing has been tweaked that can impact or improve the performance of the laptop. Cinebench gave the laptop a score of 949 points in the single core bench and 2,297 points in the multi-core test. Passmark gave the laptop a score of 1,670 
which is below average on the Passmark scale. PCMark 10 gave the laptop an overall score of 3306, with the essentials and productivity scoring the best, but digital content creation lagging behind. These benchmark scores are to be expected given the entry-level specs of this laptop. The Asus X415 laptop looks really stylish and has a great compact, robust and sturdy design. The laptop is really responsive thanks to the SSD and 8GB of RAM that's paired with the Intel Core i3 CPU. Despite the Asus chiclet keyboard having a tendency to feel cheap in my opinion, the laptop is enjoyable to use. If you're in the market for a 14-inch laptop for school, home or even small business use, the Asus X415 will be perfect for you and I'll provide links to purchase it or a similar model in the description of this video. If new laptops or laptop unboxings in general are of interest to you, then you need to click on the video that's on screen now. I'll see you there.